Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, hi I'm Madeline and today I am going to be creating a makeup look that my Instagram followers helped me pick. So pretty much what I did was create a series of polls on my Instagram story where I showed different products and gave my followers the chance to vote on which I used. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and do that. My username is Madeline A. Powers. Without further ado, let's do some makeup. I choose my choose oh my god no. i chose my chapstick for you guys i hope you don't mind but i am using the Burt's bees moisturizing lip balm in vanilla bean for primer i gave you guys the option of the tarte base tape hydrating primer and the stila skin perfecting primer i can't remember the exact percentages i'm gonna pop them on the screen so like you guys will know i just can't remember but the Stila one did win, so I am going to use that. Mine is in the shade Sunkissed. It's this color. And before you guys come for the color, my face is so pale compared to the rest of my body that I have to use darker colors, so don't come for the color. This is super, like, I feel like I just put highlighter all over my face. And it does not dry this dark, so don't, don't worry, you guys foundation goes over it and it's all will be well i look like peanut butter baby <laughs> i look like i got a spray tan <laughs> for foundation you guys chose between the maybelline matte and poreless or the fenty beauty soft matte in this one i am in the shade 220 but that's not what you guys chose you guys chose my fave and i am in the shade 280 in this foundation trust the process i know my colors look wacky but i promise i've been wearing these products for a while so also what's kind of exciting about this video is that i'm getting ready for my first day of work so you guys are kind of helping me get ready for work which is fun but um i mentioned this in another video i can't remember which one but it's i know it's in a video i am working at Rosen Remington. I'm a stylist there. It's basically like a women's boutique. If you're not from around here, you've probably never heard of them. In the, I think the original one is in Cincinnati, so it's kind of like a Cincinnati area, but they do have some up here in Indianapolis, and you guys did not get to pick my concealer just because I only have one here with me, and it is the Tarte Shape Tape. I am in the shade 27B Light to Medium Beige. This is one of my favorite concealers. I also have a Smashbox one that I really like, but um, I did not bring it to school with me. But I've been tanning a couple times a week since I got here at school, which I know what y'all are thinking, like, Madeline, that's terrible for you. And I know, but that is the only thing that clears up my acne, is the freaking tanning bed. If I could find an alternative um to clear up my skin then like i would do that and just like self tan and stuff but i can't so until i find the perfect skincare product suntan city it is i'm going to use the airspun translucent powder and i always make a big mess out of this okay i didn't make a mess so far but i'm gonna put that everywhere that i put my concealer just now we are going to do our eyebrows now i only have one eyebrow product so you guys didn't get to pick that either but it is is it facing that way anastasia brow is or not brow is dip brow pomade mine is in the shade blonde i'm going to take this elf spoolie brush and then my brushes are so dirty but i'm using the morphe m165 brush to do my eyebrows it really needs cleaned like the actual brush part needs cleaned bad but we don't have time for that i tried for so long to get like a perfect like eyebrow shape and now i just kind of fill them into their natural shape and don't really focus so much on making them like look a specific way i just kind of fill in where there's not hairs so for eyeshadow i gave you the option between the morphe jaclyn hill ring the alarm 
and the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. You guys chose this one, so I'm kind of excited. I haven't played with this yet in a while. And I feel like it's such a good palette to like transition into fall makeup with, you know? I really love the Natural Matte Palette as well. I think the colors are so pretty and this is one I use like, I use this one all the time. So I'm really excited. I'm kind of excited that you guys play or picked this one. I was kind of hoping you would, so. The colors don't really match my dress, but that's okay. I'm going to start with this Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH33 brush. We're going to use this shade here called Rush. And I'm going to put that... I'm actually going to put this everywhere on my lid because um, I hate working with like a sticky base from like foundation, eyeshadow, primer, concealer, whatever you put on your eyes as like a form of primer. I like hate working with that. Like I just hate it being sticky. I like it to be nice and matte. Now I'm gonna take the shade Alert, which is just a deeper orange. And this shade is going to stay in my crease. It's not gonna go all over like the other shade. And I'm using the same brush, by the way. I'm gonna use this little JH40 brush from Morphe, same collection. And we are going to go into Mugshot, which is like a brownish orange color. And we are going to keep that in the same spot. It's just not going to fan out as much as the other colors did. And I'm going to take this Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH32. It's just like a big blending brush. We're going to put a little bit of Rush, which is the lighter orange color. We're just going to blend that out, make sure everything's coming together nice. Now I'm going to take, go back to the JH40, and we're going to use the brown shade Secret, I think is what it's called. Yes. And we are going to put that in this outer corner very lightly i don't want to put too much and we're going to take a little bit and put it on the inner corner as well just blend all of that out this went way darker than i planned on it going we're gonna get the the big blending brush back out put some some rush on that we're gonna take this jh39 it's just a little little brush and i'm gonna take mugshot and this little orange brown and that's gonna go underneath then we're gonna take the jacqueline jh41 it's just like a flat eyeshadow brush we're gonna use this shade boom because i don't think i've used a whole lot I have always seen like people here on YouTube and stuff spraying their brushes with Fix Plus before they go into like shimmer shades and glitters and stuff, but I had never actually done it until like a month ago and holy cow, like the difference it makes when you spray it versus when you don't is insane like i don't know why i didn't trust it at first we're gonna use jh33 get some we're gonna go with alert and we're just gonna kind of blend that shimmer shade out just so it's not so harsh on the lid that is the eyeshadow it's not my best work but i also don't hate it i think it'll look better once we get some mas er, yeah, mascara, lashes, eyeliner, like I think it'll come together. We are gonna use some eyeliner. I wanna find one that I like to do wings with because you guys voted for me to do a wing. And I don't know why I made that poll because I knew everyone was gonna go for the wing. It won, so now I have to do it. Like I can't bow out of it. I'm not gonna do a super huge wing just cause I am putting lashes on and that's honestly gonna pretty much cover the wing anyway. So it doesn't really matter if this looks good or bad because it's pretty much going to get covered by lashes. The one I use is the Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner. It's in the shade black, obviously. And this is one of my favorite liquid eyeliners. I really like how um, the like applicator is. 
I might have just already messed it up. It's not a very good wing, but it's not terrible. I haven't done wings in a long time, so I think I'm <laughs> out of practice, but we're gonna attempt this side. Usually this wing turns out so much worse than this one, and this one's not very good either, so this might, the whole video might just be a fail. You guys wanted some wings? Here are some really bad wings. We're gonna put lashes over it. I'm not too worried about it. I'm gonna take this big fluffy brush. It's just a colorful brush. I think it came in a set at TJ Maxx. I almost forgot to do my bottom eyeliner. You guys pick nude. This is a Rimmel London eyeliner. It's in the shade 005 Nude and I really messed this one up and it's really flat and for some reason I cannot get it to like twist up like it's a twist up one it's not a sharpening one like i swear i'm not dumb so we have some nude liner on underneath i've really been loving doing this so for bronzers you guys got to choose between Too faced chocolate soleil which is one of my faves and the bahama mama one by the balm cosmetics which i haven't used as much but i still really love this one you guys picked this one with a farah 218m contour brush so we're gonna take some of this and I pretty much put it where you would contour anyways, but I don't actually contour. I just use bronzer a little bit. My nose, sharpen that jawline. For blush, you guys got to choose between, between Tarte in the shade Quirky and this MAC blush that I don't the color like faded off of the back so I don't know what shade it is but it looks like this okay well you guys chose this one and then I'm using a Morphe Jaclyn Hill GH 04 brush I'm just gonna put that on my cheeks a little bit on my nose a little bit on my forehead for highlighters you guys got to choose between this Ofra I think it's a Madison Miller highlighter in the shade C Shimmer I just looks like this it's so beautiful and the becca jaclyn hill champagne pop this is like a go-to for everyone but you guys chose this one and i was not mad because i also love this one this is one of my favorites i also love champagne pop but these are like my top two favorite highlighters and these are the two i brought to school with me and then we are also going to use this highlighter with a jh42 brush and we're gonna put that in my inner corner and pop that up on my brow bone. For lashes, you guys got to choose between Ardell Demi Wispies. These are my go-to. Obviously, I have a big pack of them. And these ones from the Cream Shop that I've obviously never tried before. And you guys picked this one, so I hope they... <laughs> Turn out good, but they are, I got these at TJ Maxx for five bucks. Before I put those lashes on, I'm gonna put a light coat of mascara. I forgot to let you guys choose my mascara. And I didn't realize that until like a couple days after I did the poll, so sorry about that. But I'm just gonna use the Better Than Sex by Too Faced. My lash glue I think is Ardell, yep. Ardell Lash Grip Clear Brush On Eyelash Adhesive. I'm not gonna apply my lashes on camera just cause I don't do it right pretty much. I don't use like tweezers or anything like I just stick them to my eye and I'm really bad at applying them and I have to do them with this, this guy and it'll be in the way you guys won't be able to see it anyways but I'm gonna pop those on and then I will come back. I messed up my bottom mascara and got it like on my skin but i just got my lashes on i really like them i'm glad you guys picked these at first i thought i first put them on and i was like these are way too much but some people might think they're too much but i really like them and i think i applied them super well i was so proud of myself <laughs> it's time for setting spray you got to choose between the morphe mattifying continuous setting mist and this elf set makeup mist and set i've actually never used this so I kind of wanted you guys to pick it, but it's fine. We'll use this one. It's almost out, so pretty soon I'm going to have to use the elf one. But that is one of my favorite setting sprays. I like it better than like the regular Morphe one. For lipstick, you guys got to choose between the Too Faced Melted Matte 
in the shade chocolate milkshake and it was very misleading on my instagram story like i feel like it looks different they look the same in the picture but i swear they're not the other one was this maybelline what's it called superstay matte ink in the shade 65 seductors this is my favorite lipstick i wear it all the time and that's what you guys picked so we're gonna use it For some reason today, I feel like this looks really light. Like too light for me to wear. But I'll have a mask on at work, so it won't matter. And this is the finished look. I actually really like it. I really like the eyes, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. And for those of you that voted on my poll, I had a lot of voters, so thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment and subscribe so you guys can see my next video. Bye!